In Java, you can call one constructor from another using the keyword this. The this keyword can be used inside the constructor to call another overloaded constructor and it has a set of parentheses after it with some arguments which will bind to the constructor with the matching signature. And the preferred pattern is to put all the constructor code in the largest constructor, meaning the one that has the most parameters, and call it from the smaller constructors, one with fewer parameters. Let's take a look at an example of a constructor calling another constructor. In the video about overloading constructors, we created three constructors. The default constructor that has no parameters, a constructor that takes two parameters, name and age, and a constructor that just takes one parameter, name. And these are three constructors that are overloaded, meaning they have different signatures, meaning the name of the method is the same, but the parameter number and type sequence are different. Since the code is pretty much the same in all these constructors, we're assigning name and age, assigning name and age, and assigning name and age. There's a lot of duplicate code. So what we could do is simply have these constructors, the default one and the one with one parameter, both call this constructor that has two parameters. And this is how you do it. So if we're going to call this constructor from within the default one, we know that we don't know the age nor the name. But we can call the constructor below it, this one, by saying this, parentheses, and let's pass in the name unknown name. That'll be sent to the name parameter and age zero will be sent to the age parameter. And that's it. And then similarly here, we can remove this code. And since we know the name, we could say this, pass that name straight to the parameterized constructor with two parameters and pass the age zero because we don't know what the age is. And that eliminates a lot of duplicate code and both the information of this constructor and this constructor are just being sent to this one. So this is handling all the work. So now if you wanted to make changes to the constructors, you just have to worry about one constructor rather than the other ones. Let's say we had a constructor where we only knew the age of the person but not the name. Public person int age. And then just like the other examples, this and pass in the name first, which was unknown name. And we know the age, let's pass the age parameter as an argument to the parameterized constructor right here. So now I have four constructors and this one constructor right here that has the most parameters is doing all the work. And if you go back to person demo, run the programs, and it does the exact same thing. No changes are made there, but your program is more object oriented. So this, followed by the two arguments, string and int will always bind to the constructor that takes a string and int and they'll all go to this one.